the queen of being imperfect. I kind of do it perfectly. You see what I did there? I live my life in a constant state of imperfection, and I would actually argue that we all do. If you don't, I think you should. What does it mean to reject perfection and worship imperfection? I'm gonna tell you in a minute, but first, like this channel, subscribe, and don't forget, you have to hit that little bell icon so that you can get notifications of all of my videos. Perfection is defined as the condition, state, or quality of being free, or as free as possible, from all flaws or defects, or the action or process of improving something until it is faultless or as faultless as possible. That's a pretty steep mountain to climb. So what does it mean that I reject perfection? Well, for starters, I come from a mindset that everything is inherently flawed in some way. I don't mean this in a cynical way. I just mean that, that the universe tends towards chaos and we are all just conglomerates of molecules swirling around in this beautiful, chaotic mess. It's phenomenal to think that there are laws that govern the universe, you know? Shout out to my homies, Einstein, Newton, and Pythagoras. But there is a calmness and a beauty to the stillness of our chaotic existence, and I see it everywhere. Embracing chaos means acknowledging that there is no perfection in any absolute sense. It means embracing that and being okay with it. In my work life, in my writing, in my relationships, even in how I practice meditation or yoga, and especially in how I do my hair, there are always going to be flaws. Speaking of flaws, what are some of the flawed things that I love? The best way to find out is to go to my new website. What? Wix and I partnered to design a website of all of my favorite things. And yes, many of them are flawed. In case you don't know what Wix is, it is an amazing free platform that allows you to design beautiful, custom, professional websites that do anything and everything that you want and need. Videos, music, photo galleries, booking appointments, selling merchandise. You can set it all up on Wix. It's really, really easy. You just drag and drop. They have tons of amazing templates. So many templates. If you want even more amazing features like your own personal domain name, you just upgrade to one of their premium plans. Go to wix.com slash go slash Mayim to get started on your amazing free website. Let's get back to perfection. I think perfection can actually be an impediment if we turn our desire for perfection into a quest for the impossible. Let me share with you the top three ways that embracing imperfection has changed my life for the better. Number one, embracing imperfection increases acceptance and flexibility. If you're aiming for perfection, you're only gonna feel successful if that one way that you want it done is achieved. This kind of inflexibility may motivate some people, but it may paralyze others. You essentially come to worship this abstract notion that there is a perfect way to do things, a perfect way to be, and the fact is nothing is that simple. Life is very, very complicated. So, so what do I do? I go into every day knowing that I'm gonna be imperfect. I'm gonna do things wrong. I'm gonna not hit the mark. I'm gonna need to go back and revisit things. That's how I frame my universe. So when I lose my wallet or my glasses or any of the other 75 things that I lose in a day, I can be in a certain amount of acceptance about that. When I forget to take the clothes out of the washing machine and they sit there all night, just moist and damp and possibly growing mildew, I don't beat myself up about it too much because I knew something was gonna be imperfect that day. Number two, embracing imperfection sets me up for success. I don't mean I'm always successful. I mean, heavens no. What I mean by setting myself up for success is that by approaching my life, assuming that I'm gonna do something imperfectly, I don't beat myself up if I mess up. Remember point one, seeking perfection sets you up for disappointment. People who seek perfection often associate that perfection with success. And if you do everything perfectly, mazel tov, everything's gonna go great you're a success. But if things go wrong, for any of the infinite reasons things can go wrong in a chaotic universe, the only option you have left is feeling like a failure, and that's demoralizing. The universe has a measure of chaos to it, which means it is meant inherently to unfold imperfectly. You can't think of life as a choice between success and failure. It's always gonna be a mix, and you and your life are that mix. Number three. I get so much more done when I don't think I have to be perfect. People often ask me how I get so much done. Well, I don't watch TV and I barely have a social life. Need I say more? I'm kidding, sort of. A huge part of my productivity is not obsessing about things needing to be done 
perfectly. Doing things perfectly takes a lot of practice. It involves measuring and remeasuring and, and checking and starting over. Who has time for that? When I have a draft to write of one of these scripts, for example, I don't spend my time worrying about how to write it perfectly. I just get to work and get something down on paper. The refinement process that occurs with thinking and rethinking it and mulling it over and editing, that's what it takes to get it to the way you're seeing it right now. But it does not start like that. It takes a lot of massaging to get things to where I'm happy. However, the initial germ of an idea has to resist perfection in order for me to get started. If I was obsessed with perfection, nothing would ever get done. Seeing the universe as inherently flawed and chaotic lends itself to an affection for imperfection. Can we hashtag that? Is that something kids will start like, affection for imperfection? No? Okay. There are many things that need to be done right, but the slogan, progress not perfection, drives my life every single day, every single moment. I mean, look at my hair, remember? It's like, not perfect. I'm an imperfect mom, an imperfect writer, an imperfect actor, an imperfect friend. I do things wrong all of the time. In the process of learning about myself and the world around me, I get to dive in and trust that I'm gonna be okay even if I don't meet some absolute standard of perfection. And that's my affection for imperfection. See how catchy it is? Don't forget to check out my new website, thank you Wix. Thanks for watching, see you next time. Say bye-bye. Bye-bye.